The frantic search for survivors continues tonight with the death toll climbing. More than 130 Hawaii National Guard members have been activated and helicopter teams are now looking for anyone left behind in areas without power or accessible roadways. Much of the Hawaiian island of Maui has been reduced to a smoldering pile of ash and devastation. If anybody's still out here, it's time to go! The wildfire that has been racing through the area this week, fueled by hurricane force winds and hot, dry conditions, caught many by surprise and has already claimed dozens of lives and hundreds of homes and businesses. This was a home. Imagine running into the ocean to escape the flames or pausing to watch everything burn around you. Driving through, you couldn't see any structures of the buildings. It looked like a bomb went off. All the, the cars with full gas tanks that reached the fire, they were exploded. And, you know, we, what we saw before we even knew what was going on was, like you said, the smoke, but then 70 mile per hour winds. We just thought it was really windy. The reason it spread so fast is there are reports of gusts of up to 85 miles per hour. So, you know, that, that is so fast, and that's why uh, Maui County had such a hard time doing containment of the fire. And because the winds were so high, we couldn't provide the helicopters to do the water bucket support. The historic town of Lahaina, a tourist destination dating back to the 1700s on the island's west side, has been leveled. As emergency workers gain access to charred neighborhoods, they say search and rescue is still the priority. Officials emphasize that many people have not been able to find their loved ones. Hawaiian officials say 11,000 people flew out of Maui on Wednesday, with possibly another couple thousand leaving Thursday. The state convention center in Honolulu will serve as a shelter for thousands who have been displaced. I mean, just the fact that it was spreading so fast and we didn't really know what was going to happen. And Power is out across a wide area and cell service is down. Emergency managers are working to restore communications, distribute water and bring in more law enforcement teams. The Coast Guard says it rescued 14 people who jumped into the Pacific Ocean to escape death. President Biden has declared a major disaster on Hawaii. The cause is still under investigation. The wildfire is now 80 percent contained. California is sending 11 members of its urban search and rescue team to Maui. Live in the News Center, Chris Wolf, KTLA 5 News.